Hi, welcome to introductory session of Answers Workbench 12.1. In today's class, I'll be introducing you the Answers Workbench, and I'll explain you how you could have customized and what are the options that you need to look for in an Answers Workbench. So let's begin. I'll start. I'll start up with the files, under which you can see these are options are quite normal. You can find it in any of the MS applications, uh, new open savers or import importing geometries, archive and restore. These are quite new what these basically do is in case if you have um, any file that is uh, zipped so you can directly click on archive and you can retrieve them and if you'd like to store them back as a winzip or a raw format you can always do that so this is about scripting whenever you run you can uh, generate you can start this and it will automatically uh, record all the scripts in a documented way okay i won't be talking about ekm desktop and uh, these are the re recent files that i've worked with right okay now in a view well view is some something similar what you have in an ms anything that you'd like to view you just need to click them for an instant i'll say toolbar customization i'll click over here and here we go i'll go to toolbar customization i don't need them right now i'll, I'll explain about that later on um anything about the property that i would like to know i'll click over here and it's gone it was visible so now this is the property section which shows the property about the system i have i'll select progress uh, it is hide, hi highlighted over here by clicking the button itself it will show me uh, messages these are the message column so anything when when you your system is connected to internet it will update you with respect to answers product apart from that any any um, any feedback or a troubleshoot messages it will be displayed over here and show connection bundle i won't be talking about this i'll let you know later on in, in later on section later on sessions so these are the normal things and these are the units you have a lot of um, options to change your units in answer system and apart from that you can always click on unit system and you can select which one you would like to go ahead with you can always edit it so you can always uh, import it or export it save it in some format and you can pass on to your clients or um, anyone you like uh, you can always duplicate and then edit them and uh, here are the options you have so it's it's huge it's huge to be honest i'll just close this and help it's about basic things okay so let me begin mm. okay so i'll start with the toolbox i'll show you what you have in toolbox you have analysis system basically analysis system is nothing but the type of analysis you carry on um, in most of the softwares you don't know what to do how to go ahead further so uh, for the ease of application to ease of understand they've already classified the system and uh, when you work on in certain system it will automatically set the um, um, system flow type so that you can directly get into there and put the respective parameters and you can work on it further so i'll show you the later on example and uh, you can see you got a lot of bunches of them i'll just uh, close this and then you got a component system again you have a lot of um, uh, small component system these components fits actually inside these one so analysis so for an instant geometric uh, you have a blade gen where you can put a blade um, parameters and you can generate your own blade type for a turbine blades and all and the same way you have uh, engineering data if you want to edit any uh, material properties you can always click on here uh, that will especially work on it and you can just link it to your analysis system geometry it's again a geometry modeler that has been provided by the answers where you can create your own big assemblies at very ease uh, and you don't have to go for a separate module like this uh, a part assembly in one window itself you can create a part with the multi bodies and you can and in an analysis system you can define what kind of part it is and you again you got a mechanical apdl so you can always put here mechanical model meshes and uh, polyflow these are about these are about plastic products and so on so i'll just well that is more than sufficient i believe at this point of stage okay we'll go to customize system here you can always customize your system uh, like in case if you are looking something very peculiar regularly so you can always use these systems to work on and uh, nothing much to speak about them design exploration basically deals with the quality controls or um, any significance control over your process um, that you would like to add up so you can go ahead with those fine that was about the toolbox 
and in order to if, if I would like to customize them I can click here and a window will pop up okay I'll just expand this so that everything stays clear to you okay anything that I would like to make them appear I can click them or unclick them so by selecting them whatever the things I have selected they will appear in my analysis system over here so I'll just unclick this and it is gone I'll unclick fluid flow fluid flow fluid flow fluid flow fluid flow it's very you, you can see it's gone so I'll just select all right now and the next column is physics basically it will tell you what kind of physics that particular engineering problem is dealt with so fluid flow it's obvious with fluid uh, explicit dynamics basically a structure and uh, got linear buckling electromagnet magnostatic electromagnets and um, well so on thermal 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 electric is always it's, it deals with the by by um, physics between thermal electromagnetism fine okay the next column okay so um, okay now the solver type solver type will tell you what kind of solver it is going to use in order to simulate um, to solve that solution you have answers autodyne autodyne is basically for explicit um, dynamics multi you can see it's a multi-physics tool uh, polyflow uh, cfx it's about uh, flow dynamics um, answers uh, sam samsef is another solver uh, okay so here you see a transient MBD. it's nothing but multi-body dynamics i'll deal about this thing later on and it will always tell you the type analysis type is a statics explicit or uh, harmonic or uh, there are various types of analysis so it depends what you're working on with okay so here we go. i hope um, so that's about uh, toolbox customization i'll close it okay this is a project schematic so any project that you carry on over here um, it will be carried out in in a uh, in a structural manner uh, i'll show you what you mean by structure later on okay so anything that i'll select over here anything that i'll select in my project schematic the property will be displayed over here okay so it will tell me what kind of solver it is what kind of physics it has been dealing with so and the uh, messages are basically about like if um, um, if I have to debug uh, during my solution, if anything is getting stuck and I have to debug, so it will display the message. Files is basically nothing but when you have a workbench, you have a various kinds of file that is uh, design, you have a mesh quality, uh, sorry, um, FEM, uh, design FEM, uh, boundary conditions, and all, they have been stored in some other data format. So those files, uh, which is um, which has been represented in one project, uh, one particular solution, or one particular project, will be displayed when you select that particular project under the files okay uh, so anything else you're looking for okay okay there's another thing i would like to tell you is if any column over here if it's it's in gray color it's it's highlighting in a gray it means it's, it's deactivated it's a passive you cannot edit the values in there you cannot change anything you cannot modify whereas if any columns over here if they appears in white color means you have a freedom to change the parameters or uh, the type or anything fine uh, well that's about um, answers workbench i hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll catch you soon with um, a simple static analysis using answers